In this video, we will be taking up the NPV function in Excel. NPV stands for Net Present Value. It means the present value of a series of future cash flows. Let us cite a simple example of the present value and future value. Suppose you are expecting to get 110 at the end of the year from an investment made at 10% rate of return. The future value is 110 and the present value is 100. This is the present value before adding 10% return on investment for one year. You just divide the future value of 110 by 1.10 to get the present value which is 100. However, this is a long process if you have multiple cash flows to consider. In this case, the Excel NPV function can be of great help. It is widely used by accountants, financial analysts, and investors. The calculation of net present value is commonly done to evaluate investment plans. For example, a company is considering to buy a machine that is expected to generate profit or cash inflows. It is important to determine the net present value of the cash flows to know if it's worth buying the machine. Now let us check how to do this. Excel has a formula that can quickly give us the NPV. The formula is as simple as typing the equal sign NPV and open parentheses. It directs us to indicate or select the rate, comma, followed by the values. There are two things to consider or that we are required to indicate in order to complete the formula. First is rate. This is the discount rate suitable for the investment, which is used to discount the projected cash flows to time zero or to its present value. Second, values. Refer to the stream of cash flows that a project requires and expected to generate. The stream of cash flows must be compatible and equidistant. That is, the time should be equal between the cash flows, like weekly, monthly, or annually. There is some mathematical formula for calculating the NPV, but in this video, we will be taking up the Excel NPV formula. As mentioned, we need the discount rate and the series of cash flows. Suppose the discount rate is 10% and these are the annual cash flows. The table shows that at the end of year 1, a machine will be bought for 80000 And so this is a cash outflow or a negative cash flow. By the end of year 2, the machine is expected to generate 21850 profit or cash inflow. And these are the expected cash inflows for the succeeding years. With this information, we can get the net present value by having the formula equal sign NPV open parenthesis. Step 1, we have to enter the discount rate in a cell. We can type 10% or 0.10 or we can just select this. Step 2, enter the cash flows in the series, which should be in consecutive cells. We can type the amounts, negative 80,000, 21,850, 22,025, 22,675, 21,700, and 26,180. Just separate each value with a comma. Close parenthesis and enter. And you have the NPV. Or you can quickly do it if you select the values indicated. And enter. Now we can validate the answer. Let us get the present value of each cash flow and add them. For year 1, this is the present value derived by dividing the amount by 1.10. For year 2, we need to divide this amount by 1.10, 
and the resulting amount has to be divided again by 1.10 to get the present value because it's from the second year, and so on. Adding the present value of each cash flow, we can get the same answer. Take note that this formula applies if the first cash flow or the cash outflow happens at the end of year 1 and the cash inflow starts at year 2. However, in most cases, the cash outflow happens at the beginning of the period or at period 0. So we don't have to compute for its present value but we need to deduct this cash outflow from the present value of future cash inflows to get the net present value of the profit and the cost of investment. We can still use this Excel formula, but we need a little modification. We just take the present value of a series of future cash flows at a specific discount rate, then simply subtract the original cost or investment amount. With this, our formula will now be equal sign NPV, open parenthesis, then the discount rate, and the future cash flows. We are talking about future cash flows, so the investment or cash outflow at period zero should be excluded. Close parenthesis, then let's deduct the cost of investment. And this is the net present value. Again, let us validate the answer. The present value of first cash flow is the same as this is from period zero and is not a future cash flow. Then let's get the present value of each future cash flow like what we did earlier and add them we get the same answer. It is important to remember that the NPV formula in Excel is based on cash flows in the future. If the first cash flow takes place at the initial stage of the first instance, the first cash flow should be excluded from the values and must be added or deducted directly. A positive net present value indicates that the project's rate of return exceeds the discount rate. In other words, it's better to invest your money in this project than to put your money in a high-yield savings account at an interest rate of 10% per annum. Mm -hmm.